llamas and alpacas, this is Livy, and welcome back to Alpaca Power. Now, as you can see, I'm quiet because I'm in my public library. And as you can see, I have a bigger piece of paper in front of me and a whole thing of colored pencils. I'm going to use over a hundred of them, even if they're the same color or not. I'm going to use over a hundred color pencils for one piece of art. So, let's get started. Okay, but the first things first, I need to decide what type of picture I could use to use over a hundred colored pencils. It was pretty tough to figure this out, but I've managed. And as you can see, I like to draw some and then ink some, draw some, ink some, because it's easier for me so I, accident so I don't accidentally erase something that I wanted. You can see my mascot, Abigail, but what about Abigail? What is she looking at? And another thing about this, too, is I also have to create a background, too, which I'm not the best with backgrounds, and I don't like making backgrounds, except if it's digital, then it's fine, but if it's on paper, it's like, ugh. I always check my phone while I work. And being it's quiet, it was quite a little challenge for me because I usually like to listen to something while I work and have something to drink while I work. But since I can't have either one of those for the for the library, since I'm not allowed, I managed, thankfully. And as you can see, um, I've been liking to draw these creatures. I don't know what to call them yet, but they're alpacas with with wings, like fairy wings. They're like fairy alpacas or fairy packas or what would you guys call them? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the trick is with each colored pencil, I just use one and after I'm done with the one, I put it down and I don't pick it back up. As you can see, I have different types of colored pencils. I have the traditional and I have the twistable and I also have mechanical colored pencils. I like mechanical colored pencils, but a lot of times they break really easily. And also for this art piece, it allows me to be creative with the shading. But the one thing I noticed that I forgot is I forgot to draw the gear in Abigail's bow, but oh well, it still looks pretty good. And I liked how I shaded it. It made it pop even more. But what, one thing with the fairy alpacas, I, I get really um, creative with their coloring. Like, I don't want them to look like, you know, basic colors. I want them to be colorful, including their wings and their fur. And I want to have a magical and mystical type feel. And I did a lot of layering with the colored pencils too, especially for the trees, the sky, and the grass. Not next Saturday, but the next Saturday, which is the 20th. Not, not Saturday, Friday. Pardon me. Friday, the. Not not next Friday, but the next Friday on the 21st is going to be the special live stream on YouTube of me playing Whiplash with a bunch of smaller YouTubers. So be sure to check in for that and also please mark your calendars. Because I'll be having smaller YouTubers with me playing a Apaca themed Whiplash. Quiplash. I always have a problem saying the name. But I know what I'm talking about. I didn't want the one fairy to be too much like Abigail with the 
orange fur, so it so I made it a little bit more gold or yellow. If you wondered how long this piece took, it took like maybe two hours or so, which is the longest I did for one piece of art. As, as far as I know, I might have done longer. And yeah, I was interrupted a couple times by the librarians, or the library assistants, or whatever they were. As you can see, like I, I still had a lot more colors, but I was running out of ideas of what to use for them. But it, it's a little bit manageable. Like, I didn't have to use every single color. Like I said, I was running out of ideas of what to use the colors for, and if it was a uh, bigger drawing or maybe had more to it, then I might have used all the colored pencils. But I'm pretty happy of how it turned out, and I used uh, about 147 colored pencils. Some of them are the same colors, and some of them are different. I originally wanted to do a 100 color pencil challenge, but it was really hard to divide the colors of the pencils. So I just did this instead. Like, I like the idea of layering the colors of the trees, the grass, and the sky. I did a little bit with Abigail, too. So those are all the color pencils I've used. And those are the ones I still have left. And there is the art piece that I've done. So tell me in the comment section below what you think of this art piece and any ideas for next week's Alpaca Power. But this was Livy. <laughs> Sorry for the long pause. And this has been Livy Next on Alpaca Power. I'll see you next time, my friends. See ya!